Terry, he's not my main. He's like my third main behind Sephiroth and King DDD. Make fun of me if you ah. will. But I, I mean, I would never make fun of a DDD main. Because I'm worried that you'll like murder me in my sleep. We, I don't trust we, DDD mains. We are baller. I'll just say that. Hey, <laughs> I heard that. That's that's not that's not fair. But either way, going back to Terry, just you know those down that little edge guard he has with those down tilts. You know you can actually combo into that very well too. And now we're seeing right now exactly what we're seeing is a few of those combos going into the down special that lethal down special once again you know you just gotta avoid this and really just all those once again all right now oh that's a huge parry but not a huge punish uh poor poke lamb and i think a big part of at least um teapot style is he is kind of a bait and punish a little bit where a lot of terry's moves have deceptively low end lag and he'll throw out those moves you see a lot from going power the power dive like at the ledge and a lot of times people will try and punish him when they really should not be trying to uh okay oh wow <laughs> was, i think he missed he missed the lip of the ledge there wound up underneath the stage with no invincibility and so pokalam will absolutely take that i don't even know what percent he was in, but that was a low percent kill and if you're teapot uh, you might be beating yourself up about that at least a little bit yeah, Terry was definitely not at 100% percentage, and that that was a mistake. That was definitely a big mistake going into the down special. I think he had no jump though. I think I think uh, Pokemon took his jump. The mistake was getting his jump taken. But yeah, but you fool. at the at the same time, go yeah. What are you doing? It's okay. fine. No, it's it's, bad, it's, it's like uh, honestly, Pokemon has not been punishing the uh, the up B that effectively. Yeah, and that, uh, speaking of up east, that popping out right there, that's such a deadly underrated up B to go through. I mean, you know, if you're going up against a Terry main, you don't expect that that much, you have to expect that because that is gonna pop off every once in a while. Perhaps we're not seeing Pokemon pocket any of these. He did pocket one flame before i don't think he i think he just got rid of it or maybe he carried it with him as his as he lost his stock but at least one pocket oh. was active yep and we just saw him pocket it again and <laughs> just used it to counteract uh the one from uh from teapot and now go it, it is go time but he's off stage and oh extends his hurt box with the uh i believe that was was that his neutral air or his forward air i think it's his forward air right yeah, and just the trade. Yeah. Let's take a look at this once again. But yeah, it's really just overall just the mistakes, the early mis earlier mistakes from Teapot just didn't quite work out well and in his favor. Because he started out pretty hot, but then the, uh, you know, just the easy kill percentage for Pokelam just turned things around. And then obviously that down special to sd basically that was a big mistake for teapot so we, we uh, might ex we'll expect i might want to take a look at that i'm pretty sure that that was just an uh, that was like uh an effective edge guard from pokemon i don't know given how far out he was without a jump how he um I mean, okay you are the terry main so i could you have recovered I mean, that far I mean, out without a jump yeah i'm not sure i mean i think so you know i do say i'm a third main terry but i'm definitely no tournament player either way but i'm not sure if we saw we can see that replay one more time but it's all good well it's just doing that same game and now speaking of ledge guards but it's no problem for pokemon to recover right here yeah pokemon taking a decent amount of damage and i i do need, like the fact that it's a clean slate a fresh Game two here means that um Pot's able to get the that beginning the same beginning momentum that he had in the last game. Uh that being said, it seems that we're starting to see adjustments from Pokalamp. He's oh what mm. even happened? There was just an explosion and people died. I think just the just the power of Terry's special just came in and it was you know, the missile couldn't do anything about it. I think that's all it was because Pokalam was at kill percentage, basically. <gasps> oh, baby. What does that recovery? He just. Po 
punched a bowling ball. Terry. Have you tried punching bowling balls? It ain't easy. Yeah, I don't recommend it, but I never tried it. And a buzzer will coming in. These go combos coming in super, super early in the go stage. So we're going to see a few more of those. Oh! On. He is not okay as Terry S. Yes, but. Incredible move for this one right here. Yeah, honestly, the recoveries from Teapot have been so, so, so good in this game, too. Like, he is recovering in ways that I would not expect against, especially against a player and a villager of um, Brooklyn's caliber. He, he recovers better than I do as Terry. I will say that. He recovers better than I do as pretty much every character I've ever played. Um, yeah, it's definitely a, def a very big factor because, you know, you never see on the spike. Ooh. Just tunked him. That is a really cool. That's a really great spike for Terry. Just the down punch able to just take it away. And we are tied at one apiece. In yeah, and sense. also... That was something we had not seen him go for. Uh, that just going low and super punishing the fact that Villager has no hitbox on his recovery. Mm -hmm. He hadn't really seen him do anything like that before. And so just holding yeah. on to it in his back pocket. And then at the end of the game, comes yeah, when out you, exactly when it needs to. When you have two stocks, you can take a little bit more risky moves right there, especially just going a little off. Do a little I want to see this first stock again. What, what move was that? Is that a smash attack? Bang. Was that a forward smash? No. I think that was his... Uh, side was that B? the forward smash? Yeah. I think it was the side B, yeah. Yeah. Three, two, Just the one. blue fist of... I didn't know the side B killed that early. It, it can. You could kill probably at, like, if you're at the right position of the stage, you could kill up to, like, 70 to 80, if I'm not mistaken. Peace. Yeah. Don't sleep on Terry. Terry can take you down. Oh, really good combo to start this. Out. Oh, not a really great Falling. combo to start this out. Poke Lamb just brutalizing Teapot. That that last game, Poke Lamb's like that was the fluke. Oh yeah, I can I like oh man, just the coverage of that. And this is similar to game one. Now Poke Lamb has the lead, and just approaching Villager when he has the lead makes it so so much more difficult. Oh, no, he has no jump. Oh, and the, you know, back to the last game, we saw Poke Lamb in. No jump. It's those wall, yeah, the wall jumps. Those start. Oh, no the jump ball, again. The again. Oh. That is a strike. That is a double strike. And can Poke Lamb go for the turkey? The question is, will he go for the turkey? Is this a bowling term? And I just don't know bowling. Oh, yeah. If you get three strikes in a row, that's a turkey. All right, managing to take that first stock right there, but already 40% and two healthy ones, you know, in Pokolam's favor. This is looking very grim for, uh, looking very grim for Teapot. He has, you know, this is best three out of five, so he has some room to work with, even if this game doesn't work out for him. But, uh, yeah, just having to approach the litter, it, it's just so rough. So, so, so rough. Especially on a stage like this. Exactly. You just gotta watch out. And, you know, just Villager taking advantage of those platforms with the bowling balls. And, like, Terry's near 100 already. Make that 117. Now we might... He'll have to bust out the gold go combos already. Bang! And just... Oh, I missed it. Hate to see it. Buster Wolf! Oh! <gasps> Oh wow! Okay, so this is this is not the end for Teapot. You know he does have he's at go percent. There's still a lot he has to be scared of. Oh, it oh. off stage. That should be it though. I don't think he is a jump. In. Yeah. Okay, that's more than it. Yeah, that was just great recognition for Hooky Lamb. Just you know, if you're not gonna get the bowling ball kill, just take him off the stage. You you're 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 fine, especially on this stage yeah. where you have the wall to your advantage. Yeah, you just. You just do your thing. Yeah. The massive difference between this game and last game, the the edge guards. Just they were absolutely
uh, Poco Lamb just really exploiting. Part of that is the stage. He was able to use that platform that just juts out past the ledge so effectively that, like, twice. Yeah, I, oh, were all three stocks? Did he incorporate it? Yeah, look at this. He, he Every single time he sniped his jump and then just mm -hmm. avoid him with the bowling ball. Exactly, Both this stock yeah. and this stock, I believe, too. He hit him before the uh, got rid of his jump and then just... Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, bowling so ball ban. That, that, I think this stage should have been banned, honestly. Just oh, looking yeah. at... I don't know what stage you would ban over this, considering how effectively Pokolan was able to use those platforms. Exactly. It was just basically his advantage. But really, a trend we're seeing from these two guys right there is just like, you know, game number two, Terry comes out swinging fastly. And then in game three, now we see Villager coming out even faster, getting him done in less than two minutes. So now in this next stage, we, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe these the guys right now are starting to pick their bands before picking characters or maybe we might see a character adjustment i honestly wouldn't want to see a character adjustment i like both terry and villager going at against each other in this yeah. game but yeah i would and say i would say we might see like a battlefield not like a not battlefield per se but like you know where there's three platforms stacked something like that uh not on yoshis though we've seen already that Pokemon loves yeah yoshis. not on yoshis i don't think we should you shouldn't take villager to yoshis um but you know, one thing is that even though uh, Teapot did lose that game, you notice both of the stocks he took were very similar in that he, you know, Pokalam was throwing out the Lloyd as he was trying to recover, and that side B just went right through it and or tore into him, killing him at very low percents. And that's something where even though he lost the game, that's a, like a recurring read that's going on. Um, I feel like Pokalam should, you know, Pokalam's a really good player. Even though he, if, if you win, it doesn't necessarily mean that you did everything perfectly. And you should still think about the things that you were doing wrong and what you need to change. And his recoveries, definitely, I think that they might need some adjustment. Because uh, there's no guarantee that in this next game, Pokemon's going to get a huge lead. And if he's dying at like 70 off stage, then the opposite, you know, of what we just saw could happen. Yeah, you know, this could go either way in this next game but really Pokelame is just one game away of winning it all here but teapot you know is just knocking on his door basically that last game you know he teapot definitely wishes he forgot all about it because you know i just didn't really have an answer and the stage didn't really help him out whatsoever as we've said already so we i'll expect we i'll expect it we're, we're definitely going to see a different stage coming up here next so okay just still waiting on these two guys yeah what's the word here, here here you go so yeah the delay is just uh smashy g was not letting them uh wasn't letting them do their bands through the automated system uh there's like some weird bug so pokelands yeah yeah <laughs> my uh pokelands bands are town and fd and uh mm -hmm. so it was just waiting for uh What's his name? For Teapot to just see the messages. So, Pokolam is basically banning the FD type sort of archetype of stage. Um, yeah. You think we might see a PS2 then? We might see PS2. I w we might even see Smashville. I wouldn't be surprised of that. I, I believe. Yeah. I think we're going back to Kalos. Kalos. Oh, boy. Terry better have All a plan right. here. Teapot um, better have a plan. I mean, so if I mean the big the big thing that sort of broke Teapot in that last game were those really just really powerful edge guards that Pokolam was constantly dishing out on. So, but if he's oh, able yeah. to readjust, you know, it seems that Pokolam is a little bit scared of that sort of FD kind of stage. So maybe take advantage of that more. Uh, that being said, one thing is that Teapot likes to approach with that power, uh, the power dunk. And, um, power dunk or power dive. Uh, but Pokalem, for the most part, is not falling for it anymore. He was getting hit by that sort of thing early on. But now, yeah, he's able to effect pretty effectively adjust. Although right there, he actually gets punished in the aftermath. Yep, and notice as soon as, like, uh, Villager recovered, he just immediately went back to the middle ground. So I think Terry's going to try to win this on the middle ground. Missed the bowling ball. Good thing for him, just avoiding that. 
So really just control middle ground as best you can and gets the first stock. All right. And was that a side B? That was the side B. Yeah. That was yeah. the forward side B. Yep. So yeah. Go ahead. Oh no, no. So you were you gonna give some juicy Terry info on the mechanics of that side B? Because yeah. I'm all ears. I mean, basically, yeah, that's the forward side B. He has, you know, where he does the flip kick. That's the back side B. So if you're going towards your opponent, if you're walking forward, it will do the blue fist of fury. I mean, that's not its actual name, of course, but he'll do that. And then if you walk backwards and then click B, you're going to do the flip kick. And I personally love the flip kick as Terry. Ooh. Bowling. Yeah. Once again, those uh, those platforms really helping out Pokalam. Being able to just drop a bowling ball and cover that much is just a massive plus. But, you know, uh, Teapot did choose this stage as the counter pick, so maybe there's something else. I mean, he is also in the lead, so it seems that he, whatever adjustments he needed to make, he has done. And yeah, he's you're right. He's absolutely taking center stage more and looking to uh, take advantage of that platformless layout to play the neutral that he wants. Yeah, I mean, he's just a straight up fighter, just dishing it out, whatever he can, and not being a wimp, being like, oh, I don't like the stage I lost. I'm going to switch, just running it back, showing his bonnet. Hey, I can I can do it. You see what you can do here. Let me, and, me adjust. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure King of Fighters doesn't have a... Uh, doesn't have... That was almost a cool stock that we didn't get to see, but that's okay. We get this stock. Yeah, and so Teapot now looking pretty, pretty solid here. Granted, yeah, we've already seen that uh, Pokalem has been taking some really, really early stocks, but he's at it is go time, and that means that the damage can just rack up so, so quickly. Oh, yeah. but right before that, three turnips does the trick uh we're gonna have one stock a piece now this is uh tournament stop for uh for teapot here if he does not manage to eke out this win he's gonna be out of the tournament poke yeah. lamb definitely wants knows that the trying to exploit whatever fear might start to encroach onto teapot's play style yeah he's shielding a lot more trying to be more defensive and oh, that's really paying off this for Pokalam. Able to get all of this damage. Oh, right as I say oh, that. Oh, uh, now 61. This is this is the battle of the death, basically. I think we've really seen like a last hit situation between these two players. Again, that side be going off stage. Pokalam has been falling for it quite a bit. One more of those will probably do it to him. As we see the side B from on stage is almost oh, enough. Oh, be careful. Oh, yep, this is so scary. Yeah, if you're Teapot, you got to be careful if you're going to rush the ledge. On this stage, uppercut. And game five, here we come. Yeah, and finally the platforms okay. work out for Teapot. Uh, <laughs> the Pokemon was just too scared being on there. Tries to get down, and that descent is intercepted and that means we are going to have a game five between these two and these matches are getting closer and closer we're starting to see a real back and forth between these players oh yeah indeed this is what smash is all about just a back and forth slugfest from the best players of the you know just in general like world country wherever you internetosphere internetosphere and the Xeno Wi-Fi tournament, nonetheless. Best players in there. I mean, really just well done from Teapot adjusting to the stage. You know, there's there's still some moments where, you know, he kind of messed up a little bit. It took it went down to the very last stock, obviously. So now going into this game five, let's see what stage is gonna be coming up here, and then we'll wrap it up. All right, Smash. here we are now, Time moving in to game five. I am really excited for this. We're actually having the counter pick to town and city. Uh, it seems that whatever confidence uh, Pokalem had over Kalos, he is over it now instead opting for town and city here. And 
So far, it's working out relatively well for him, 80% onto Terry. It might not mean that he's going to die at the next instant, but it does mean that Pot is forced to approach. And if you're Pokalam, that can be a huge asset to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and po Poka Pokalam is definitely coming in. Oh, and now that... Uh, that was the first shot goes to Pokalam here. That was incredible move. So right now we're just gonna see Terry just bust it out right here. But no, the move, the slingshot from Villager just coming in way too crazy. And right now Pokalam's just kind of popping off right here. Speaking of popping off, just a few jabs, punches. Oh, My saves goodness. his jump, but already 67%. Pokalam doing a fantastic job here on town and city granted we've already seen that teapot can have some amazing comeback potential but the the bigger issue is that he is forced to approach and pokalam loves it once you're the one who asked to make the initiative he's able to set up this wall of projectiles all sorts of horrible things that nobody should ever have to deal with exactly i mean i'll tell you what right, right now you gotta be careful when you're on that <gasps> Is that take out Terry? Oh no. This is definitely not looking too hot all of a sudden. But Yeah. We're we're gonna have to see Teapot use all of that comeback potential to the map. Because oh 45% and growing Pokalam just starting to put him through the grinder. Side B gets some pressure off of him, and the power dunk takes the stock. Now we have two stocks to one. Uh, it seems that there is still fire in Teapot, but it, this has maybe reached a boiling point where it might be uh, beyond recovery. Go time, but let's see if it's enough. Oh, the Buster Wolf coming in. Maybe he can take it down to one more stock. Those trees has been a bigger factor in this game than any other games for... Poke a lamb. Oh, and the slingshot stopped the Buster Wolf. We are at the point right now where some of those go moves could probably take out Poke lamb, and if they do, it's mm. very feasible that he could still win this win this game. But 154% and off stage, and oh, being no. that low, he is nowhere to go but right into that bowling ball. That's going to be Pokalem taking the set. 3-2, moving on to Losers Finals, where now he faces off, I believe it is a rematch, versus uh, Among Us. Yes, indeed. I believe that is the case. But really, just... A well around great game from Poka Lamb in this match, knew, knowing he needed to close out the game chunk. really, really quickly. And yet, just the bowling ball just coming in. It doesn't hit him. That's just, it's wow. Just hits him on the back, and then Terry flies the other direction. That's, that's how physics works, ladies and gentlemen, in real life. That's what happens. But.